If you drop ship on Facebook Marketplace or Facebook Shops, chances are you either use FBM Fox or you use ZDrop. Or if you're new and you're looking for the best listing software or the best software to manage your, your drop shipping business on Marketplace or Shops, chances are you're looking at one or two of these and you're trying to figure out which one's better and which one's better for you. So in today's video, I'm gonna grade both ZDrop and FBM Fox on a number of different parameters. We're gonna grade them on price, marketplace lister shops lister stock pricing and monitoring and like stock changing and price changing their customer service and their auto ordering and then on top of that we're going to put all that together and i'm going to give you my opinion of which one is better and why for beginners but also advanced people alike so the first thing that we're going to get grade these two on is price so z drops price currently is 16.99 a month it also comes with a seven day free trial so that you can try it out now that is a very good price for everything that it does it's only 17 dollars a month pretty much everyone can afford that and if you can't afford 17 you know dollars a month you shouldn't be starting a business let alone you know a drop shipping business where you have to spend money okay so the price is very advantageous for ZDrop. Now, FBM Fox also comes with a free version of their lister, but their lister specifically only lets you list for the free version specifically, only lets you list 50 products and then caps you at 50. So it's really not free. It just kind of lets you get your feet in the door to test the software. And then once you obviously start listing, you hit that $50 cap, you have to pay for the software. Now that's not that big of a deal because the pricing here comes in at $29 a month for the bare minimum plan. Now, $29 a month only gives you 200 products. And this is really where ZDrop comes in and crushes FBM Fox, in my opinion. The original version of, of ZDrop where you're paying $17 a month comes with literally everything. There's no upcharges. There's no, you know, hidden fees for, you know, capping you out at certain products. Whereas FBM Fox, yes, their base plan comes in, at, you know, free, obviously. And then when you upgrade their base plan comes in at $29 a month. But then as you add more products, and if you watch this channel or even if you don't, one of the biggest and best things that I do to scale my business is list products consistently every day. On my marketplace accounts, I list 140 products every, well, my VAs list 140 products on each marketplace account every single day. So we mix it quality products with quantity as well. And we take some shots in the dark, right? It's it's literally like the same analogy as like baseball. If you have more swings at the, at the plate, you might as well take them. Why wouldn't you? And marketplace lets you list 150 per day per marketplace account, right? On shops, we list as many as possible after that's done. And I also have a VA that does that after their processing orders So for, for the day. So really the quantity thing is massive. And that's why, in my opinion, ZDrop blows them out of the water here. Because if you start listing 500, 1,000, 10,000 products, it really gets up there really fast. So let's say hypothetically you wanted to list 1,000 products. That's $70 a month. Not that big of a deal, but still a lot more expensive than, Z, than ZDrop, right? On my one store, I have upwards of 25,000 uh, products. And honestly, on, on my marketplace accounts, I don't I don't know how much it is because I can't count. But like if I counted, I would assume it's at least 10,000, maybe closer to 20,000. Uh, so let's just take the one shop, for example, and say that we are listing to that one shop. Well, over 25,000 products would be $700 a month for this software, okay? Now, if you go upwards of 100,000 products, it can run you $3,000 a month, okay? Whereas ZDrop just charges you a base fee of $17 and they don't ever upcharge you. There's no hidden fees for, you know, going up the pricing tiers like that. So in my opinion here, ZDrop wins on price hands down, no questions asked. Now with the Marketplace Lister, they both do pretty much the same thing listing wise with Facebook Marketplace personal accounts. You can literally just use it. It's like a copy and paste software. They both both work very well in my opinion and really nobody has the edge. So for the Marketplace Lister specifically, both ZDrop and FBM Fox have a tie there. They both can get the job done. You need to keep in mind that if you're listing more on FBM Fox, that even with the Marketplace Lister, like the more you list, the more the price is gonna go up, okay? So keep that in mind as well. But the functionality of the Lister on Marketplace, they both tie, okay? Now with the Shops Lister, FBM Fox has a beautiful Shops Lister, okay? You can literally just add products to your FBM Fox store and then 
integrate that in the back end of your shop so it automatically updates with those products you don't actually have to add them in every single time it will just automatically do that i believe it's like every hour you can set it up it's very very good now the issue with that even even though it's good the issue with that just like the lister and just like the pricing is add you as you add more and more products what they don't tell you obviously is that you're going to slowly you're going to have to upgrade to maintain that right so even though you can add products super fast and super easily you're gonna have to pay for that privilege, okay? And so whereas on Zdrop, just like I said, they charge you that base $17 fee. And yes, that might go up, you know, a dollar or two here and there every couple months, but it's still very, very minimal. And it doesn't go up like as you add more and more products. On Zdrop with the shops lister, you can add literally hundreds and thousands of products a day just export the spreadsheet on the actual uh, Zdrop, like on Zdrop.com on their software, and then upload it super fast to your FBM shop or your, to your uh, Facebook shop. I have an entire tutorial on this. Even though FBM Box has a better integration with their shops lister, Zdrop does a beautiful job with it as well. And the price for the actual amount of products that you're able to list, literally thousands, is still that $17 a month. And you can do it just as fast, in my opinion, and it doesn't cost you an arm and a leg, literally. You're not handicapping your business by paying thousands of dollars a month, uh, you know, just for the privilege, okay? Now, shops, uh, the shops lister Z drop wins, in my opinion, there. With the stock monitoring and the stock changing and the price monitoring, the price changing, Z drop doesn't do that, FBM Fox does. And while they do do the stock and the price changing, so they automatically get the W there because Z drop doesn't even compete with them there, but that's reflected in the price, right? Because FBM Fox has to do the stock monitoring, changing of the stock and do the price monitoring and changing of the stock, their software requires a lot more, I don't even know what the actual like like term is, but, but like a lot more bandwidth or a lot more um, like server like space, I guess. Right. And so they have to pay for that. And that's reflected in the price because they're managing so many products and monitoring so many products and then actually changing that with their software in the back. End. Because of that, yes, they win be because Zdrop doesn't compete with them there, but that is reflected in the price. And that is reflected when you're listing to shops, when you're listing to marketplace and just reflected in your monthly price overall. Okay. So keep that in mind while I'm giving them the W here. It really isn't all that advantageous because in my opinion, and I've created a video on this in the past, I'll drop it at the uh, bottom of the description if you wanna check it out. You don't need to monitor your stock and you don't need to change your prices for 99.99999% of your items because the honest reality is, and this ties back into the quantity listing that I was talking about earlier, like why you wanna list in quantity, 95 to 98%, if not more of your listings, will never get traction and they will never sell. So in this case, you're paying for, you know, 99.999% of your items that are never going to, you're never going to need to worry about the stock of, and you're never going to need to change the price of. Okay. So you're paying for all that privilege, but you're not really seeing that reflected in the items that are selling. I prefer, and this is exactly how I run my business is I don't monitor the stock and I don't monitor or change the prices preemptively. I only do that after the fact, if something potentially sells that's out of stock, I try to find it on another website or I fake ship it, which is something else I've talked about in the past and then just refund the customer. Or what I basically do is I'll mark it out of stock and I'll just cancel the order if I can afford it. Okay. I also don't monitor the price because chances are the price isn't changing that much or that drastically. So hypothetically, I could either again, market fake shipped, cancel the order, or I could just take a loss on that specific product and raise it in the future. And you might be thinking like, why would you do that? But the reality is if you're, if you're making like a hundred sales a day across all your shops, for example, and this is a, an issue on like one of your, your items, it's not that big of a deal because you're still paying that $17 a month. You're not paying three grand a month to monitor all, all these things and change all the prices there. You're really focusing on the items that are working for you and only focusing on them. And it's not that big of a deal because your metrics are going to cover you across all of those different factors there. So you can change the price or you can afford to cancel an order. Again, I've gone more in depth in the video that I linked down in the description and why I feel that way. I highly suggest, I know this isn't a popular opinion in the actual space, but I highly suggest that you watch that video so you understand the thought press process there. I don't monitor my stock and I don't monitor my prices or change my prices with software. I do that manually if I need to, because the reality is, only about 1% of your items, if not a little bit less, will ever get any traction or ever sell. So why are you paying for the other 99% to monitor and change when you don't need to?
okay? So that's my opinion there. Also, I have not personally used the stock monitoring system or the price changing system on FBM Fox. So this is just hearsay. Take this with a grain of salt. I haven't used it personally, but I have heard from other people that have used it that it, it doesn't work all that well all the time. It works well on certain things, but some suppliers, it doesn't work really at all. So keep that in mind. You might be paying for that part of the software when you're not actually getting the results there. Now, the next thing is the customer service and hands down FBM Fox takes the cake with customer service. They have a lot better customer service. Uh, Zdrop's customer service is hit or miss, honestly. You have to kind of bug them on their Facebook page or reach out to their support. I have not, uh, keep in mind, I also am in their affiliate program. So like I have, I can just message them really fast on Facebook and they respond to me, it seems. But like a lot of people that I've talked to do tend to have issues with their customer service. But again, they're only charging you $17 a month for all of these different things, while FBM Fox is charging you thousands of dollars, potentially a month or hundreds of dollars. So they can obviously afford to have that extra person there to do customer service. So keep that in mind, FBM Fox wins the customer service battle, hands down. Now the auto ordering battle here, Zdrop doesn't have an auto ordering function and FBM Fox's auto ordering function is still very, very new. I believe it's not currently in beta. I think it's past that, but I have not personally tested it here. So I don't have any experience, you know, with their auto ordering system. So basically, for example, let's say you used FBM Fox to, you know, list a product from Walmart, right? And because FBM Fox listed that and you're using FBM Fox, they also know where that supplier is in that actual URL. So if you buy auto ordering credits, not only would you not need a VA to list it because FBM Fox will do that, not only would you need a, a VA to monitor the stock and the prices there or change them, but you also hypothetically, if it works well, again, I have not tested it myself, they'll just auto order that for you if you use an auto order credit. So it pretty much streamlines the process. Like once you, you list something, you can also have the, the, the stock and the price change uh, for you automatically, but you can also have it auto ordered for you as well. So that is a very cool, promising feature that I definitely think is very, very cool in the future and I would love to explore, but I have a VA that processes orders. I have VAs that do all these things already. Um, and for what I'm paying my VA is a lot potentially cheaper than, you know, $3,000 a month or whatever the price would be for however many products I have. So it's promising. I'm willing to explore it in the future. It's something that we should all keep our eye on because it's something that is a, you know, a new frontier in the space. But for the time being, I haven't really tested it. So keep that in mind. I would recommend testing it yourself. If you're interested, it is a really cool feature, but because Zdrop doesn't compete with them, obviously FBM Fox wins the auto ordering battle here. Again, that's reflected in the price of the software. Okay. Now a little bonus here is the affiliate program. Um, this has no bearing on you unless you're recommending this to your, you know, subscribers or your followers or other people that you know of, but the affiliate program, like FBM Fox wins hands down. Now Z drops affiliate program was probably paying me like two, 300 bucks a month in the beginning. And then they just like stopped paying me out affiliate commissions for the past six months. And I've heard other people talk about this as well. And so that does kind of rub me the wrong way. I don't really like it. And again, this goes back to their customer service, which isn't that great. But again, that's reflected in the price. And so the whole point that I'm saying here and the whole reason that I add, that I added this in is because I could literally make thousands of dollars recommending FBM Fox in YouTube videos, in my courses, and across the board, I can make recurring commissions of thousands of dollars recommending FBM Fox, but I'm not doing that even though Zdrop isn't really paying me to recommend their software anymore because their affiliate program just like stopped for whatever reason. And yes, I don't like that, but ultimately the main and most important thing for me is to recommend the best software that's gonna do the best job at the best price for you, okay? And even though Zdrop isn't paying me, and even though I could make thousands of dollars recommending FBM Fox, I'm still recommending Zdrop here. I still think it's a better software for all the reasons outlined, even though they're not paying me to say that, because ultimately for the price that you're getting, which again is $17 a month, the marketplace lister does just as good as, a, as good of a job. The shops lister is better. The pricing is 1000 times better. And even though it doesn't monitor or change prices or stock, even though their customer service is a little bit shaky, and even though they're not introducing anything like auto ordering anytime soon, what, what you're paying for is the most important things that you need to run your drops, uh, your drop shipping business and actually get results, right? In my opinion, first of all, FBM Fox needs to get a hold of the pricing because it's way too high. In my opinion, um, it, it, when FBM Fox would make more sense for you is if you have maybe 
a few dozen or a few hundred products that are all winners and that's your approach, then maybe FBM Fox makes more sense for you because you're not paying as much and you're getting like the automated factor of all those, those products and you're not really, you don't really have that many products so you're not paying that much, right? But for me, I recommend what works for me, which is a mix of quality products that I've sniped and done research on and also quantity and taking shots in the dark. And that's how I've built literally multiple personal marketplaces and multiple shops to tens of thousands of dollars in sales very, very fast. Okay. And I've done six figures on both of those. So I have experience doing that. So that's why I'm recommending what works for me. All right. So in my opinion, overall for the price and the functionality and what you need it for, Z drop wins. And those are the reasons why.